Four Britons who died when a whale watching boat sank off the coast of Western Canada have been named. David Thomas, 50, and his son Stephen, 17, from Swindon were among those who died. Stephen's mother, Julie, was rescued from Leviathan too. Also named among the dead are Jack Slater, 76, who was born in Salford but had lived in Canada for many years and 29-year-old Katie Taylor. Canadian government investigators are looking into the cause of the accident. Officials have said more of the 27 people on board could have died had it not been for the amazing response from locals around Tofino. An Australian man is still missing. Shocked and saddened. The Down Syndrome Association described Stephen Thomas as a very talented young man and a gifted photographer. Chief Executive Carol Boyce said, we were all delighted when Stephen's beautiful image Moraine Lake won the National My Perspective Photographic Competition last year. She added that David Thomas was one of the driving forces behind the Swindon Down Syndrome group where he was a trustee. Isambard Community School in Swindon also paid tribute to former pupil Stephen. Head teacher Sue Banks said he was always a positive role model for others, he never used the term I can't and was constantly smiling. She said he had a love for art and his work was regularly exhibited in the school and sold at the annual art show. David Thomas worked for Microsoft. A statement from the company said they were shocked and saddened to hear the news. Michelle van der Bell, Microsoft UK general manager, said, our thoughts and deepest sympathies are with their family, friends, and David's colleagues and we will be doing everything we can to support them. Mr. Slater's family said he was a retired Navy engineer who had lived in Canada for over 30 years and had three daughters. He was on the boat with his wife, Marjorie, who is being treated in hospital. His daughter Michelle Slater Brown wrote on Facebook he was larger than life, a charmer, handsome, entrepreneur, engineer in the Navy, he was our dad, our lovely dad, I will miss him forever but I'm grateful for all the times I spent with him, I love you dad. Ms. Taylor was also a British national living in Canada. Corinne Inouye Director of Operations at Jamie's Whaling Station and Adventure Center, the company that owns the boat, said, It appears the incident happened so quickly that the crew didn't have an opportunity to send out a mayday. She added the skipper of the ship has more than 20 years whale watching experience and had completed 18 years with the company. Company owner Jamie Bray said passengers on the boat were not required to wear life jackets as it has enclosed compartments, which would be difficult to exit in the event of a sinking. Another whale watching boat operated by the same company capsized in 1998, killing two people, including the boat operator and a tourist from Germany. Greg Louis chief counselor of the Ahousat First Nation elected council, told the BBC's Radio 4 Today program that possibly everyone could have drowned or died of hypothermia had the local community not responded to the accident so quickly. The incident could have been a lot worse, LTCMDR Desmond James of the Canadian Joint Rescue Coordination Centre in British Columbia said. He added that 21 people would not have been rescued were it not for the amazing response by locals. Australian Associated Press reported the missing 27-year-old Sydney man was on the boat with his girlfriend and her family when it sank. His girlfriend's father was among the five Britons confirmed dead, the news agency said. British Foreign Secretary Philip Hammond said his thoughts were with the family and friends of those affected by Sunday's incident. 
Canadian Prime Minister-designate Justin Trudeau said he was shocked and saddened by the deaths.